Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a body jewelry haul. I am so excited. I have not done a body jewelry haul in quite some time and this one is going to be a little bit different for me and for you guys because I have never done a body jewelry haul with this company before but today we are going to be doing a haul of some new goodies that I got from Ofer Body Jewelry. Now I have heard quite a bit about this company just through scrolling Instagram, Facebook, seeing other videos and they were kind enough to reach out to me and they are going to be the sponsors of today's video which I am so excited about. I am absolutely honored to be doing this video. Just a quick little disclaimer, they did not send me a script. They are not paying me to say certain things. They are not paying me to give you guys good reviews for any of this stuff. They are just kind enough to sponsor this channel and keep it going and showing you guys some really awesome things. Now a lot of this stuff, well I I do have a few pieces in already that I will show you guys on, but for now I'm just going to be showing you all of the other stuff that I got and then if you guys are interested, I can do a full separate try on video if you guys want to see them more up close and how they work and things like that. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, after seeing this video, go ahead and let me know down in the comments if a try on haul of everything that I got would be something that you guys are interested in seeing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this little haul. I am so freaking excited you guys. I have not been excited about body jewelry in a very long time. Every site that I would go to it was just kind of the same thing, different day, nothing really excited me. And then when I went on Ofer's site I was literally like oh my gosh these are fantastic. So I am just super excited to be doing this video for you guys today. If you guys have never heard of them here is their website if you guys want to go to their site and easily check them out. It is just OferBodyJewelry.com. They have back to school sales. They always have little coupon codes. They have different categories for every piercing that you might need. They have their best selling. They also have different categories for different types of jewelry. So for example, if you are someone whose body can't handle just the regular stainless steel jewelry, they also have many, many options for gold on their website. So I have a little bit of everything here. I have things for rook piercings, I have belly rings, I have septum rings. We, we have a little bit of everything so let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I want to show you guys is something that I'm so excited about and it has been like killing me not to put them in before this video but for demonetization reasons I can't show you what they look like in because they are a new set of nipple rings. So here are what these nipple rings look like right here. They are absolutely gorgeous. Here's an up close view of these nipple rings. They are 14 gauge and as you can see on the ends of them they have these really really beautiful gems right here so they kind of look like little diamonds. Now when I first got my nipples pierced which has been quite a while now um, I was pierced with 16 gauge just regular barbells and literally ever since then I have not put anything different in my nipple rings and the reason for that is because when I got my nipples pierced they were both done with the 16 gauge not complaining I've never had any issues with them being out of 16 but when it comes to like buying nipple ring jewelry a lot of the times they only come in 14 gauge unless you want to get like a tongue ring and put it in there I don't really know but I really really wanted to have something new and cute and fun in my nipple rings because I haven't changed them in literally so freaking long and I saw these on there and they're cute they're dainty and I just think they would look so incredibly flattering in my nipple ring. So I really wanted to show you guys those first because I'm probably gonna try to put these in tonight um, it is gonna be a little bit sore because like I said they're at a 16 these are a 14 A couple other pieces of jewelry I got. I got two different kinds because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to have. If you guys can see right here, I do have my Rook Pierce and I do like this jewelry. Like I like the little barbell that I have in there, but it's just kind of like lackluster to me. I'm just kind of over it. I want something new. I want something a little bit more flashy. And I also wanted something where the barbell was a little bit shorter because as you can see, and this is a common thing with rook piercings, but typically the bar is very, very long. And I just find that irritating. So I really wanted to try something a little bit different. So I got two options for that. This first one is probably the one that I'm really, 
really leaning towards and that is the 16 gauge 1.2 millimeter curved barbell right here and as you can see it has this absolutely gorgeous pretty bright gemmed flowers right on the top of it so when I put it in my ear the little gems will be sitting right on the top of my ear right here and then the little barbell will hang so I'm real I have a lot of high hopes for this I cannot wait to see what this looks like in Her piercings are a pain in the butt to change but this one I'm literally so excited for I just think it is so pretty and so incredibly cute I'll take it out of the packaging so I can show you guys here is a better up close view of what this one looks like oh my gosh this is so freaking pretty so when I put it in I can line it up. It'll look something like that. Oh my gosh. So freaking gorgeous. The next one that I got for my Rook, which I couldn't decide between these two, so I got both of them. And that is this little 16 gauge curved barbell. And at the very, very top of it, as you can see, it has this really gorgeous gem heart. And then on the bottom, it has the little gemmed ball on the bottom. So if I were to put this in my ear, it would be something like this. It's definitely not as flashy as this one, in my opinion, but I got this one just in case I didn't like the too flashy look, you know what I mean? So that way this one will be, you know, it's a statement piece, but it won't be as, you know, out there. So this one could also work for a bunch of different other piercings. Like if you have an eyebrow piercing or any piercing that requires a curved barbell, this would also be a really good option for that. So here's what this one looks like out of the packaging. As you can see, they are super bright, super pretty. If I were to put that one in my Rook, it would look something like that. So the next earring that I got is actually one that I'm currently wearing in my ear right now. Now, if you guys can see good enough, it is in my conch and oh, my gosh, you guys, when I saw this on their site, I was like, hook, line, sinker, mine, definitely have to have it. Here is what this little conch earring looks like. As you can see, there is a total of five little opal rings in there, and I just love the way that this fits in my conch. I think it is so pretty. It's definitely dainty, but it's big enough to be like, when you look at my ear, it's like, wow. So I absolutely love this. This is a 16 gauge and the back of it just has a little ball right here, but it's not too, too big, so it pokes me like in the back of the head. It doesn't, it doesn't get in the way of that at all. And then you can also turn this one, so if you wanna have it facing a different way, you can do it that way, or you can have it facing the other way. So I have such a thing for Opal. Opal is definitely in right now when it comes to body jewelry, so this was a really, really good option. My conch piercing is probably like one of my favorite ear piercings that I've ever gotten. I just love the different jewelry choices for it. I love how it looks, it's very flashy. And while I still have you guys up close, I did wanna show you a new septum piercing that I have in, which I'm sure a lot of you noticed from the very beginning of this video because as you can see, it's very different for me. It's very out there and it is this beautiful baby pink septum ring right here. And it actually came in a pack of two. So I have another one, which I thought was really cool because typically with septum piercings, with these guys, I almost always lose septum rings or I lose the balls on my septum rings. So the fact that it came with two was really exciting for me. And I wanted to get this one just because you know, obviously it's very different, it's very out there, and I don't have anything like this, so it's just a really nice kind of like pastel baby pink. This is a 16 gauge, this is 10 millimeters in diameter. That is what that one looks like, and I think it goes really cute with this little pink stud that I have over here, and then just my two silver hoops. But they have so many different kinds of septum piercing jewelry on their site, such as this one. Next septum piercing jewelry that I really wanted to show you guys is actually a clicker and you guys know I love 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 clicker jewelry I just think it is so beautiful so pretty as long as you get the right size and diameter which this one the next one I got is absolutely perfect I did already try this on for an Instagram post so if you guys want to see some more up close pictures of all of this stuff in action you can head on over to my Instagram and you can see all the pictures for that but this one 
oh my gosh, it is so cool. So it is the 16 gauge, again, 10 millimeter in diameter septum clicker and hopefully it will focus enough so you can see the beautiful color. There we go. So as you can see, it is this really beautiful purple gemmed septum clicker and I absolutely love, love this. Looks absolutely flattering in the nose. It fits absolutely perfectly. The clicker is really easy to get on and off and oh my gosh, I just, I can't get over how good this one looks. I actually, I'm actually gonna put this one in right now so I can show you guys what it looks like. Little balls right here. All right, so the pink one is out and I'm just going to There we go, easy peasy one, two, three. So here is what this septum clicker looks like in. Oh, oh my God, I love it even more seeing it in the second time. This is so, so pretty. And I went with purple because personally, I don't own a whole lot of purple jewelry and they had so many different colors of this on their site. They had just the regular crystal, blue, yellow, gold, pink, purple. Pretty much every color that you can think of in this septum clicker style they had and I absolutely love it. It fits perfectly. I don't think it comes down too, too far. It just looks really flattering and this is definitely right up my alley as far as style goes. Other two earrings that I got, I took them out of their packaging so they're going to be kind of hard to see but I did get these for a purpose and I'm just going to quickly show you one of them. They are super, super tiny so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. It is this little externally threaded 16 gauge flat back barbell right here. As you can see, and it just has the nice little gem right there. I did get two of these. So, and the main reason why I got those two were for these two cartilage piercings right here. Now, if you guys remember when I got these done, they were originally done with a 16 gauge. And then after a while, after they heal, I did put in some 20 gauge pushback gems that I got from Lulu's Body Jewelry. So obviously when that happens, the earring, the actual piercing hole shrunk down to a 20 gauge. And lately I've been really wanting to get them back up to a 16 gauge. So I actually put in these two 18 gauge horseshoes. So I'm slowly starting to stretch them up. That's kind of why this area of my ear is really red and irritated because it was quite sore getting those in. These actually also came with the order because they actually included a bunch of little gifts with all of, with my whole entire order. So that was really nice, but we'll get into that more later. So yes, I am slowly but surely starting to stretch these two cartilage piercings back up to a 16 gauge. These are currently at an 18 and then we'll put these bad boys in in a couple weeks after those heal because let me tell you, that was quite sore when I did that. Okay, and all of the other items that I wanted to show you guys are all belly rings. And oh my gosh, when I tell you my all-time favorite body jewelry to splurge on and get a whole bunch of is belly rings, this site has some of, and I'm not just saying this, but this site seriously has some of the best the best <laughs> variety of belly button piercings that I've ever seen. Like I literally have all new pieces just from this one order. So this first one is probably my favorite and I will go ahead and show you. And this one I also did post a picture of on my Instagram. So if you guys want to see a more up close view or what it looks like in the actual belly button piercing, you guys can go and check out my Instagram. So here is what this first belly button ring looks like. And it's literally so bright and shiny that there's just a glare on the camera. But look how freaking gorgeous this is. So it kind of has like a duochrome look to it where it's like purple and blue in the center. And what I really like about this one is the top of it because it, as you can see with most belly button piercings, they only come with the one ball on top, whereas this one comes with like a string of three. And this looks so sexy and so incredibly flattering inside the belly button piercing 
This one is definitely my favorite for sure. It is so bright. If you're going to get anything off this site, I highly recommend this belly ring right here. I will also try to include links of everything down in the description box as well. If you see a specific piece that I showed you that you really want to get and you don't want to spend hours searching for it, I will try to include links for everything that I got down below as well. Next one that I got is something super unique and it honestly is like nostalgic for me. Now, if you are a 90s kid, then this is going to make you think of the exact same thing that it made me think of or it'll make you think of Game of Thrones. But first, let me just show you what this one looks like. So here's what the next belly button ring looks like. As you can see, it has these really pretty blue and purple kind of crystal balls on the top and the bottom. And what's holding them is actually a dragon claw, which I thought was super cool. Definitely it made me think of Game of Thrones, but I want you guys to level with me here. If you are a 90s kid, if this doesn't make you think of the talisman from Halloween Town, literally, that's why I got it, because it looks just like the talisman that Calabar is after in Halloween Town, and Marnie saves Halloween Town with the talisman. She got the ingredients, she made the little potion. This, that's literally what this makes me think of. If you guys see it too, please let me know down in the comments, because I'm super curious, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. It is super cool, super unique. You can also get this color ball in many different colors as well if you are interested. It's a little bit more on the heavy side. I did also include a picture of me wearing this bad boy on my Instagram as well. And what I really like about it is when you twist it in all the different lights, you can see so many different colors like blue, purple, yellow, green. Now, another really cool thing on their site is they actually have little collections that you can get. So if you're scrolling on their site and you see a belly button ring that you like, but you also like five other ones, you can actually get a set of five so you can have all the good things about all of the belly rings. So I actually got a five piece set. So you heard that right five different belly rings and these ones are so incredibly gorgeous, so sexy. And I remember when I first got my belly button pierced, this was the style that I wanted so incredibly bad. Like I was literally like, oh, as soon as my belly button piercing heals, I'm gonna put this one in and this one in. And definitely seeing them now in person again, I'm like, yeah. Dude, man, I still really like this style. I will show you all of the little ones first. So here is what the first one looks like. It just has this really nice, pretty disco ball look to it. And all of these fit really good in my belly button piercing. So if you guys want to see what they look like in the actual piercing, again, head on over to my Instagram because that is where all of the pictures will be posted. The next one, this one is a little bit more on the simple side, but again, I absolutely love this one. And this one is also a little bit more heavy. And it is this belly button ring right here. And as you can see on the top and the bottom, it has these really sparkling, really, really pretty jewels on the top and bottom. This other one that I really, really like, and it kind of has a mix of like jewels and opal and flowers in it. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. And I absolutely love the way this one looks as well. So as you can see, we have the top ball that has that little crystal. And then right in the center, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see the opal, but, and then right in the center, we have a little piece of opal right there, which this one is so beautiful. Again, it's very, very flattering in. Out of every belly button ring in this pack, this one is probably my favorite. The next two belly button rings that came in this set, I always like to call these ones like the going out belly rings and not necessarily everyday belly rings, and that is because they are dangles. Now, when I tell you, back when I first got my belly button pierced, this was my all-time favorite style. This is the style that I was talking about, and I still really, really enjoy it. So here is what the first one looks like. As you can see, at the top, we just have a plain silver ball. At the bottom, we have this very large circular gem, and then hanging down, we have all of the really cool like geometric squares. This one is plain, and this one has a bunch of gems in it. And then we have a little ball down at the bottom. This is seriously so incredibly sexy. Every time I go to like a, a boat party or I go somewhere where I know I'm gonna be in a cute little bikini and I really wanna have a nice flashy belly button ring, this is the style that I go for. And I can't even help it, you guys. Like my style has changed a lot over the years, but when it comes to these kinds of belly button rings, 
my style hasn't changed at all. I still really, really like these. I think they're so sexy. The next one is, again, one of my all-time favorites because we have the plain silver ball right on top, and then we have a bunch of gemmed hearts going from the biggest all the way down to the smallest. I will post a picture of me wearing this on Instagram as well, but oh my gosh, this is so freaking sexy, so beautiful i absolutely love this and it just looks so good in like with a fresh tan bathing suit this little guy hanging from your belly bitch okay and that is everything from the ofer body jewelry order but they were also kind enough to send me a few little gifts along with this stuff so the first one that they sent me is another pair of nipple rings. Again, these are the 14 gauge. These could also be used as tongue, tongue, blah, 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 I can't talk. And I have lipstick on my teeth. And these could also be used if you guys have a tongue ring. If you do or do not know, I used to have my tongue pierced for about eight years and then a few months ago I ended up taking it out permanently. But if you are someone who has your nipples or your tongue pierced, you, these could be used for either one of them. So these ones are just some really bright neon orange barbells. I don't even know how well the color is picking up on camera, but holy cow, these are like bright highlighter orange barbells. These would be kind of fun in like a nipple piercing to just kind of like make a statement and be like, hey. Also sent over quite a bit of extra little horseshoes and a few little CBRs as well. Now I did already put two of them, oh, wrong ear. I already, I already did put two of them right here in these ones because I needed them. So it's actually really good that they sent me those because I actually needed them. But yeah, so we have, and as you can see on the back of them, they all have this little sticker that says gift, but we have some horseshoes right here. We also have some CBRs that are in many different sizes. So we have this little smaller one. We have a little bit of a bigger one. Seeing these really makes me miss my smiley piercing because I used to keep a CBR in my smiley piercing, which I get asked that all the time if I still have my smiley pierce. And the answer to your question is no, I do not. I only kept it for about six months and then I took it out. Really no reason other than I really wanted to save my teeth. So that's kind of why I took that one out. And then they also sent over another little horseshoe right here. So those actually really come in handy for me if I'm out somewhere and one of my piercings happens to slip out. I actually always keep a couple of these in my purse. That, that way I can just simply slide them in and they will stay open until I can get back to my body jewelry collection. So I actually really like those. And then they also sent me three little standard belly button rings, which I will go ahead and show you. They do have a ton of these on their site as well for really, really cheap. And this particular one actually makes me think of a tongue ring that I used to have that I really liked. If you guys remember from, oh my gosh, like 2014, my all time favorite tongue ring that I ever had was my white one. Well, this belly button ring is just a pure white belly button ring with the top and bottom ball. And it is this really beautiful pearlescent white color. And this makes me think of my favorite tongue ring so much. The next one they sent over, and this one's kind of cool. This again is just another standard belly button ring if it'll focus. And on the top we have the little plain silver ball. And on the bottom we just have a nice gray silver ball right here. And what's cool about these ones is you can unscrew them from either the bottom or the top. So if you're someone who has like a personal preference on how you like to put your belly button rings in, you, can, you have a choice with these ones. So you can either unscrew the bottom ball or you can unscrew the top ball. The last one that they sent me as part of a gift and this one really reminds me of like paint or like kind of like at home ornament making if you know what I mean. And it just looks like this. So as you can see it is this clear ball on the top and bottom and then all around it it is surrounded by a bunch of little like spray painty looking things. I don't even know if you can see this well on camera or not but wow this one's super cool super unique so yeah now i have this one to add to my collection and it actually feels really cool like it has a little bit of a texture to it so hey guys and that is everything that i got from ofer body jewelry i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video first off i just want to say a huge huge thank you to ofer for sponsoring this video and sending me all of these beautiful pieces I seriously cannot wait to try these out. I am so, so very excited and so incredibly blessed. 
and I would not even have this opportunity at all if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite piece. Let me know what videos you want to see with these pieces. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and give it a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you to the family. Make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days on this channel. As for the rest of you, I love you guys so very much and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!